Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the Nerd National Communication Center as I settle down in front of my modest computational device with my favorite yummy cupcake and some caffeinated beverage, I thought I'd bring you a review of the Kilowatt EZ. This device, along with my Sportsman 2000 watt generator, got me through the great freeze of Texas in February 2021, where much of Texas was without power. If you're going to try to manage how much power is coming out of your generator, or you want to see how much power your gaming rig is actually using, this is the device for you. Let's check it out. Now the P3 International Kilowatt EZ is available on many different retailers. For instance, I just went and found it here on Amazon for about $35, and it's also available on Walmart for $39. And they have a modest website that gives us the specifications and gives us a nice manual. One of the things that is really nice about the Kilowatt is not only will it show you what your voltage is, what your cycles are per second, how many watts or amps you're using through the kilowatt. It will also let you set your power rate and you can see how much electricity in dollars it is costing you to operate that. So in this example right here, you can see they said that the total for the month to operate this device, whatever they had plugged into it, is $24.36. So let me show you the operation of the Kilowatt EZ. So let's take a look at the unit. This is the output from the unit. Of course, we've got a plug to plug it into the wall or into an extension cord that is coming from your wall socket or your power generator. Be sure that your extension cord can handle the current. Now, if I look at the specifications on the back of the Kilowatt EZ, it says it can take 120 volts, Maximum current is 15 amps, and maximum power is 1800 watts. You want to make sure you do not exceed that, and you want to make sure whatever extension cords or power strips you're using are rated at 15 amps, or better yet, 20 amps, to have a little bit of a margin for error. Now, let me get it set up. All right, so here is the setup on the kilowatt. I have my heavy-duty extension cord coming from the wall, or if you were using your generator, it would be coming from your generator. It's going into the kilowatt EZ, and then I have coming out of the kilowatt EZ, I am going to my vintage Archer Radio Shack power strip, and then whatever loads I need to put on the generator would come out of this power strip. Right now, I just have another heavy-duty extension cord going to a room radiator style electric space heater so I can put a load on the kilowatt. So right now I have no load on the kilowatt. I'm just gonna cycle through the up and down buttons and by default, it's just showing you your current settings. So I'm pulling 121 volts, zero amps, zero watts, zero volt amps. My cycles per second is 60 and my power factor is one. So if you just keep going through this, you'll see all these settings. And what I usually do when I'm using this is I switch to the watts display. I'm going to reach down here and turn the space heater on to low and turn on the power strip and we will see some load come up on the kilowatt. And there it is coming up as the space heater gets up to power. So this little radiator space heater on low is pulling 584 watts, 582 volt amps, 60 cycles per second, everything looks good, power factor is one, and I'm down to 115 volts because I'm putting some load on the circuit. And I'm pulling five amps. Now if I reach down, let's go back to watts, and I will switch to medium on the space heater. So now we've jumped up to 800 watts, and as I keep cycling through, you'll see my voltage has dropped a little bit more, and I'm now pulling 7 amps. And finally, let's go to high. So on high setting, this 
space heater is pulling 1232 watts. My cycles per second is down just a tad, power factor is still one, my voltage is down significantly, and I'm pulling 11 amps. And that is still well under the rating of the kilowatt EZ. And it is under the ratings of all my different cords, although it's not a bad idea every once in a while when you're consistently using power through something is to see if the cords are heating up and certainly don't use anything that's frayed. Your mileage may vary, not available in Alaska, Hawaii, or anywhere else. What I'm saying is it's not my fault if you use substandard stuff. All right, let's look at some other functionality of the kilowatt. I'm gonna hold the set button until it brings up the price of kilowatt hour. So I have it set to 10 cents per kilowatt hour and I can hit up or down and set my electric rate and then hit set again to save it. So whatever the electric rate is in your area, that's what you'd wanna set this to. The cost calculating abilities of the kilowatt can be accessed by hitting the menu button. So right now, the total cost of electricity that this space heater has run is less than one cent. Now, if I cycle through the up and down buttons, it will tell me that running this space heater at its current setting would cost me $190 a year. Here, let me go through it with up. So it's going to cost me two cents an hour to operate this heater at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, remember I set that, 53 cents a day, $3.74 a week, and finally $16 a month. Not finally, here we go. And finally, $197 a year. Now, if I cycle through the menu button again, it will just remind me of what I've set my rate to, 10, kilowatt, uh, 10 cents per kilowatt hour, and so far I've used 0.07 kilowatts and it has been 18 minutes since I hit the reset button. So you can plug this in and just let it run over time and see what the running total is of the cost. Now if I hit the menu one more time, I'm back to the current display. Let's go to watts again. Let me crank this heater back up to high. 1200 watts. I'll go back to the menu and let's cycle through the costs again. So $215 per year now, $18 a month, $4 a week, 60 cents a day. And that is the basic functionality of the Kilowatt EZ. It's pretty straightforward, it's a nice unit, but most importantly, if you're running something and you want to make sure you're not pulling too much power, for goodness sakes, get some sort of power meter between your power source and your load so you can make sure you're not overloading your generator. So do I recommend the Kilowatt EZ? Absolutely. It's one of the best purchases I ever made. I bought it many years ago. It still works great. It's fabulous. Get yourself one. Also, that cupcake was super yummy, and you may have seen this. This is my piece of commemorative steel from the Battleship of Texas. I'm a volunteer. I do restoration work out there on the Battleship when I'm not nerding out. So with that, I'm going to ask you to do that wonderful cultural thing that YouTube creators ask you to do at the end of videos to mash on a certain something so that something something will notify you that something is happening on my channel. If you do that, I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy, yummy.